Do you want a lure for your free rig that'll get you bites in pressured situations? Do you need a finesse lure that can be fished in deeper situations near cover more effectively? How many times have you actually seen a worm or a creature hanging around the base of a brush pile? I'm going to show you one of my go-to lures for fishing around brush piles with a free rig or when pressured situations occur where you're competing with other people using similar baits. Okay, before we get to my secret lure, if you will, I want to go over just a little bit of the basics about the free rig again. And so my components are your main line, a weight, and typically I'm going to use a heavier weight. I'll use, I've got a smaller one here for demonstration purposes, but I'll use a half or three quarter ounce weight. Again, remember what we're trying to do here. We're trying to throw this lure a uh, light finesse lure that we're going to tease around the bottom and we're trying to throw that out at the base of a brush pile for instance and we want it to sit right at the base of the brush pile. We've caught all the active fish off the brush pile and now we know there's some buried in it or the fishing has become more negative and we're going to need to slow way down and fish subtly next to this and fishing subtle baits next to a brush pile can be very tricky unless you're using a free rig. So heavy weight and you put the line through the weight, right? And then I will go with a two-aught worm hook. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's light. I can get some strength this. I'm not gonna bend this hook out. And uh, uh, I'm able to be able to uh, float the lure up because I want this weight to sit on the bottom. And at, while this is sitting on the bottom, I want to be able to pull this main line bait back up and down to this weight on the bottom, and that's gonna impart some of the action. Now, what do I wanna use for a lure? People are using worms, people are using creature baits. A lot of those things don't stand up. Some of the floating worms will work well, um, but how many worms have you seen with the camera down on the bottom near a brush pile? I've not seen many worms, I've not seen any creature baits. I know bass will eat them, but what I do see a lot of and we don't want to overlook is the main forage that the bass are hanging around these brush piles for and they're loaded with bluegills they're loaded with crappies so they're loaded with small panfish typically and that's when the bass will come around and the bass will look for opportunities and irregularities with that school of panfish in there to, to take uh, opportunities to eat them and that's what they're eating they're not in there eating uh, things that look like a brush hog or, or things that look like six inch worms they'll eat those things when they're not pressured, but when they are pressured, when they're in a more in a negative mood, they need something that really mimics their natural environment. And to my lure of choice, I'll use the Z-Man Razor Shad. And the reason I like the Razor Shad is obviously this bait is made out of the Z-Man plastic and it floats. It's got a very thick section of body up here that is, is floatable, right? It's shaped like a minnow. It's got a minnow tail, but it's got three articulating sections and a lot of people use this bait for chatter baits, and it's an excellent chatter bait trailer because of this, these three articulating sections. But what I like about it is I can make this thing do a lot in a little bit of space on the bottom. And so I'll rig this thing up, Texas rigged, and with my worm hook. So I'll get a little bit of it in here. I'll bring my worm hook around, Texas rig it, bring it through the body here, uh, right up into the little V groove uh, there's a channel on the back of the Z-Man bait and that thing is right there sticking to my finger, sticky sharp hook, but it's still protected with that soft Z-Man plastic and the profile of that worm hook stays inside the minnow. It's not like an EWG hook where it's outside it and might, might have it, the bait act funny. So when this bait goes down and you cast a heavy weight, now you're using a half or a three quarter ounce weight, and what you're trying to do is cast and land this thing right at the base of that brush pile. So what you do is cast it out there and the bait will go down, the weight will drop, the, of course the, the lure will follow it down. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to actually pull this thing and we'll show a little video of, of uh, the setup I've got in the bucket. But when you're pulling your slack line down to the weight and heavy weight that's staying in place, half three quarter ounce, as you pull your slack, that minnow is standing straight up and then that tail as you pull down is swimming down to the bottom and then it will rise back up and it'll swim back down to the bottom and it will rise up and swim back down to the bottom and the curiosity of the bass has to see number one that looks like a little bluegill if in fact it's the brim colored bluegill colored uh, z-man razor shad 
The bluegill looks like it's eating something on the bottom. It's a perfectly natural approach. It's fished in place next to that brush pile. You'll pull fish out of that brush pile that will eat that bluegill that's preoccupied looking like it's feeding on the bottom or it's injured on the bottom. And you can impart some really subtle action with this. So super natural bait, super finesse presentation in a still presentation. You know, you're, when fish get negative on a brush pile, you have to let the bait sit still. Sometimes 30 seconds, a minute, sometimes two minutes, things have to be still down there. And you can impart just the most subtle action with this approach and have the bait stay in place, right? We're not pulling the weight and having the bait drift down like some other baits have been used with the free rig before. I think less effectively. I think the most effective place to use a free rig is, is right next to the pile. You want the bait to stay next to the pile and you want it to do something subtle and alive, uh, but also have the ability to hold that thing in place and just fish it still. So get yourself, uh, can't go wrong with a lot of the different Z-Man products for the free rig because of the floating plastic, but I love this razor shad for fishing around brush piles to match the bluegills that are in the brush pile and using it and really just match what the fish are feeding on. So use your razor shad with its Elastec material, uh, heavy weight, and fish this free rig next to brush piles and you'll catch more fish in pressured situations. Hope that tip was helpful. Please like and subscribe and we'll talk to you next time on the water.